I think I'm gonna go ahead and take me a nap. I forgot, I gotta make a video. How did you do that? Whoa! Holy cow! Oh boy! All you have to do is ask. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright peeps, I'm showing y'all a little bit of slow motion loving right now, and then I'm gonna rewind and bring it back for you, okay? Slow motion and reverse. Let's get into it. First of all, you need to do your takes all at once. The take of you saying whatever you're going to say at the end first. Pause for a little bit. And then say whatever you want to say. Do your motions. And then that's it. It's a wrap. Pretty easy take for one person. The reason why you got to do that is because you want everything to match up perfectly when you do your slow motion and your rewind. I'll show you what the heck I'm talking about right now. Okay, check it out. First and foremost, I got my playhead, got my clip down in the timeline of all my takes. If I play this, you'll just see one continuous thing going on here. I forgot, I gotta make a video. You see me get my paws on so that I can go ahead and put my clips together. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take me a nap. Then you see my action. All right, let's get it split up. All right, first thing I wanna do, have my first take right here where I say what I'm gonna say I forgot I gotta make a video I'm gonna split this clip right here by clicking on the razor blade and I'm gonna click on this clip to activate it and just drag it and move it out of the way don't really need it right now As a matter of fact I'm moving a little far away just preparing myself for the slow-mo piece now that I got that out of the way Let's go ahead and move this to the position where the individual starts talking. I think this will be pretty good right here. I'm going to split it again. And I'm going to delete this front end by clicking on it, making sure it turns orange. Then I'm going to click the delete button. Or the trash can. I'm going to go ahead and play this past the part where... He's talking. Yeah, go ahead and take me in. Yeah. Right before he goes into a slow motion move. This is pretty good right here. I think I'll start my slow motion off. Let's go back a little bit. That's good. I'm going to start my slow motion here. So I'm going to split this clip right where I want to start my slow motion by clicking on the razor blade. And now I'm going to right click on this clip that is activated as orange. I'm going to do copy. I'm going to move my playhead to the next segment. I'm going to right click on the timeline and I'm going to hit paste. Alright, so now I have two of the same clip. This is just a clip of the individual jumping. He's not saying anything. Just jumping. It's just the same thing twice. I'm going to grab this second one and move it over. Get out of my way. I'm going to click on the first one because this is the one I want to be in slow motion. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to speed and add. Now I'm going to leave it on constant. I'm just going to click on the number 100% until it changes to blue. And I'm going to type 20 because I want this to be 20% of the regular speed. All right. I'm going to click on smooth motion to make it look nice and smooth. I'm going to click on OK. Now we see we have the little speed bar on here, but it's not all the way out what I wanted. If I were to play this, you'll see that it actually is going to stop short of him finishing the move. So what you need to do is stretch this out. So place your cursor at the end where you see a line and an arrow. Hold your left mouse down and drag it out. Right. Now that it's all the way dragged out, I'm going to move it back to a position right where he lands and stops moving. I'm 
And I'm going to split the clip here. Get rid of all this extra. All right. Go ahead and click on my little trash can. Get rid of that. Now I'm going to move these two clips. I'm going to left click on the timeline where there's nothing at. And I'm going to hold my left mouse down. I'm going to make this little lasso go around both of these clips. And what that makes it do is it activates both of them. And I'm going to left click. Either one of them doesn't matter and drag it over. All right, so now I got the slow motion. And then I have the second clip just doing the same thing in regular speed. So what I need to do is reverse this one. So I'm going to right click on this one. Go to speed. And add. Let me make sure I just got this one activated first. So I'm going to right click on this one. Go to speed. And add. And now I'm going to click on reverse. Okay. So now I got my bad boy jumping, starting off talking, going in the slow motion move. And then I got the reverse happening, going back the other way. And now I want to move this to a position right where he starts talking. This is the last part where he's saying the end piece. I'm going to click on the razor blade and split this. I'm going to click on the middle clip to get rid of it. Hit delete. And it's a wrap. Now, right now, it's not rendering at full speed, so I can't really play it back for you. But I showed you exactly what I did to create the effect that you saw at the beginning of the video. If I play it back right now, it's going to be real choppy and sloppy and stuff. Let's see what happens to give you an idea. Yeah, real jumpy and choppy and sloppy yeah, right now. But that's just because of the rendering and everything. When you play it back, it'll look just like it looked at the beginning. That's it, people. Slow motion and reverse. All right? Easy to do just for you. You guys know the routine, all right? The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Hug it. You can sing when you hug it if you want to. Just hug it. Comments. You know I love comments. Leave me comments, all right? If you like this content, if you got anything to say, leave your comment for your boy. And if you got any questions, leave them for me. I'll always answer your questions. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe baby thanks for watching we'll see you again soon